Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the devotional from Soldiers of the Cross. We will begin per usual with our opening prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I come before you and I ask forgiveness of my sins so you may hear this prayer. We thank you for this new day, for the rest that you have given us in the previous night, the health, the strength, the ability to wake up, open our eyes to a new day of mercies, a new day full of your love, because that is how you are. You are a good, good father, as that beautiful song says. We glorify and praise your name for that goodness, because nothing compares. Lord, we ask that you manifest yourself, that you manifest your will to us. Tell us what you want from us, Father. Through your word, through these devotionals, we long to hear your voice. We long to know what you have for us in store. And we thank you for all the listeners that have had the chance to tune in on this day and listen. Because the word you give us, the word the Holy Spirit gives us, Father, is always good. Is always meant for our growth and for our spiritual health. We praise you and we ask that you take care of all your children from the youngest to the oldest. And all our endeavors for the day that you help us walk in faith. And always remember that everything we do is for your honor and your glory. We pray and ask for all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us your debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Our devotional for today is titled Without Grudges or Resentment. Written by Minerva Ganda, translated by Lisa Marie Hernandez, and taken from the book Mesa de Fe. Our biblical base is found in Ephesians chapter 4, verses 29 to 32. So says the Word of God. Let no corrupt word proceed out of your mouth, but what is good for necessary edification, that it may impart grace to the hearers. And do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God, by whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. Let all bitterness, wrath, anger, clamor, and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. And be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, even as God in Christ forgave you. Amen. May we be blessed through the reading of God's word. Without grudges or resentment. How sad we feel when we carry the bitterness of grudges on our backs. How difficult it is to walk. We can barely lift our heads because the weight bends and overwhelms us. Our feet become clumsy. And if we move forward a bit, we do so with great difficulty. But how different and wonderful the path of life is when we have the joy of walking it without grudges or resentment. When we walk, it seems we have wings and not feet, as we easily rise above so many miseries that fill the path. Without grudges or resentment, our life, like a light ship, will sail over the calmest sea. And although this storm threatens, nothing can make it capsize. How light the soul feels, how much peace, how easy it is to sing. On our face there will always be a clear and transparent smile like crystal. Blessed are those who have known how to eradicate from their souls that enormous burden that has made even the strongest succumb. Remember what the poet said, Grudges? What good are they? What do grudges achieve? They neither heal wounds nor correct wrongs. If you want to be truly happy and reach the safe harbor undefeated, throw overboard all the roots of bitterness you have accumulated and ask the Lord to fill your soul with love so that you can forgive your fellow men and thus live a life full with Christ Jesus without grudges or resentment. Amen. What a beautiful reminder, my dear friends. 
How amazing is it to be truly living in the joy of the Lord? My brothers and sisters, we are children of a all-loving Father, a God of joy, of happiness, of true happiness, of true fulfillment. There is no space for grudges and resentment and bitterness and anger. We cannot let any of those things fill our hearts. As humans, it is normal for us to feel that way at times. When we are being tested, when we are being trialed, not only is our faith being made stronger, not only is God molding our faith, but He's also molding our entire being, our person, our character, our mind, our heart. But the work can't be done, it can't be finished, if we don't allow for His love to overcome, for His love to win and give us the victory. If we stay stuck on the dispute, on the argument, on the conflict, on the trial, and we let all those ill feelings thrive instead of letting them go, instead of allowing God to give us the temperance and to give us that ability to let go and let all those things be replaced by forgiveness, by love, by understanding, then we are not giving God the chance to finish his work in us. We are not letting him do the work in us, my dear friends. That is why it is so important that we don't let any of those things linger in our lives. As the article said, if you want to be truly happy and reach the finish goal, undefeat it. Throw overboard, let go of anything that is tying you down because, because none of that not only is it not okay as children of God and pleasing to God, but none of that is worth losing our life over. None of that is worth losing our joy over. We must let go of all those bitter feelings, my dear friends. We must let go of any grudges, of any resentment, and learn how to forgive, learn how to live in the love that God has shown us. We must learn how to live like our master, and that way we can impart grace, and it'll be a benefit for those around us. It'll be a blessing for our brothers and sisters, and it'll be a blessing for our lives as well. Amen. May God receive all the honor and the glory, and I pray that you were blessed through this devotional. But before we end the session, I kindly invite you to visit our YouTube channel, SEC English Ministry for our daily Bible reading. And now we ask that the blessed love of God, the grace and peace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the companion and communion of the Holy Spirit, our great counselor, be with all of his children now and forever. Amen. This was your sister, Kaylee Castaneda, hoping that you have an amazing day.